In a way, Gustavo Rivera comes across right out of the playbook of the reformer, good government, and so on and so forth. Uh, what do you make of him and uh, his prospects? You know, I, this is the first time I've heard of him, so, you know, it's, and he looks, he's well-spoken, seems to have a clear thought of what he wants to do and where he wants to be. Um, the reality is the system that, that, uh, that we have in, in Albany today uh, makes it uh, uh, difficult for almost any candidate to, to go there and, and, and focus on the work they're supposed to do. Um, this this part-time uh, legislature that we call it where... Uh, they get full-time pay. Well, I don't know if they get full-time well, pay. To, yeah. you, 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 you have to look at that if you're going to have a representative really represent you, uh, you, you have to t t take away the possibility that he could be influenced financially and in having uh, other, other roles, other jobs as lawyers or consultants or whatever uh, will lead to that. I, I'm a firm believer that the legislature should really be a full-time legislature and then you could restrict all employments. Uh, if you cut the legislature in half, both houses, and you made them full time, it wouldn't cost the taxpayers any more dollars. Yet you will have a full time uh, legislature who will then uh, will be stricken from uh, holding other type of positions while they're in the legislature. You could take away a lot of the influence that is uh, being felt today in, uh, in Albany. So I'm a firm believer. And the other thing is I'm a believer is that uh, individuals who are in, in office should not be uh, running uh, uh, non-for-profits. They, you know, they're there to make sure that the non-for-profits that exist are treated fairly by state agencies. As soon as you cross the line where the uh, particular individual has control of a particular non-for-profit, you obviously are looking for big trouble. And I think everywhere that's happened, you've seen the results. And I, I, that didn't used to happen. It used to be that, you know, you go there and you try to get the support of the individual legislatures to help you and, and your particular agency. But more and more, each legislature has, has found a way to have their own non-for-profits. And, 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 that, and that's been part of the, the game plan in almost all of these districts, Miguel. But what do you make of uh, Rivera? Well, you know, certainly he comes across as uh, having the passion to uh, make changes, but, you know, I, I would have to agree. I think, you know, with the system we have in place, I mean, you know, unless you have checks and balances in place, unless there's a, a, a process change in Albany, and I completely agree with the fact that it should be, uh, a legislator should be fully focused on his job. And, you know, you can't run a $130 billion budget part-time. What corporation does that? Well, you know, I, a government is run like a corporation, and, and, you know, this is a conflict of interest as far as I'm concerned. So, um, yes, he comes across, uh, Mr. Rivera comes across with, with a lot of passion. I, you know, my concern is he gets swallowed up in, in uh, Albany politics.